Hey peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous. In today's video, we're going to make an entirely in the hoop embroidered coaster. So let's get to it. So this coaster will be Halloween themed. I think it will turn out really cool because we won't have to sew. So. Exactly. And that's the key is we're not good sewers. So we're going to let the embroider machine do all the work. So let's get to designing. So we're in Inkscape and we have our five by seven um, hoop open and we're going to our square tool to make a nice shape for our coaster. Now we're going to round off the edges by dragging down this little circle. So now I'm going to go to my document properties and I want to add some nice grid lines for a nice pattern on our coaster. And now I'm going to go and adjust them. Now I'm going to move the coaster into the place I want to, to match up with the grid lines. So now I'm going to trace these grid lines with my Bezier tool. So something you can do to get better lines is hold down control while you're placing these lines down and it will walk to different degrees like 180 degrees, 90 degrees, etc. So now that I'm done tracing the lines, I'm going to go to File, Document, Properties, and turn off my grid. So now I'm going to my Layers tab to rename my Layer 1. So now I'm going to select all of my lines and change the stitching type by going to Stroke Style and I'm going to change it from a straight line to a dashed line to make it give a nice straight stitch. So pretty much where we are in our design is we've locked down the padding and the Halloween fabric on top with a nice little crisscross stitch and now I think we're going to add some text with our lettering tool. So we'll do a nice cursive font and then write boo in it. So now we're going to make a new layer for our boo lettering and then we're going to move it to the layer. So now we're going to move it to the layer we want by right clicking boo, move to layer, and then pick the layer we want to move it to. So we're going to pick our size and orientation we want our boo lettering to be. So now we're going to duplicate our outside stitch by clicking it and then doing Command D for duplicate. And then we're going to add another layer. So now what we're doing in our design is pretty much we've put down a fabric under the stabilizer and then we're going to lock it down with this stitch. So now we're going to create a new layer called Satin Edge. So now in my Stroke Style tab, 
I'm going to change this from a dash light to a satin stitch and then change the size to make it a lot bigger. So now I'm going to right click on the satin edge and then move it to my layer by going to right click, move to layer, and then select by layer I want to move it to. So pretty much what's going on in our design is the first layer will stitch down the Halloween fabric and the padding to the stabilizer. Then we're going to stitch out a nice lettering gooey text, which is boo. And then we're going to put some black fabric under the stabilizer. And then we're going to stitch out an edge to secure all that together. Then finally, we're going to put a satin stitch around it to give it a nice finishing touch. So with these jump stitches, it looks kind of weird, but um, we just will have to cut them and it will look a lot better. So it won't look like a spider web. So after each um, stitch, we'll just cut the jump stitches. So we have all our supplies that we're gonna use laid out. So what even is this? This is like a thicker batting material that will give our coaster some padding. So it doesn't just like go through it. Right. What, so what type of stabilizer is this? That's just a mid-weight stabilizer to hold down. We're just using it to hold down everything to the hoop so that it will be a set reference point when we put stuff on top. We're not going to hoop anything else but the stabilizer. Okay. And then we just have some nice... Festive fabric. Yep. So it just finished um, bordering the text. Yeah, it turned out amazing so far, right? Definitely. Very nice. So I really like the way that turned out. Now it's time to put our backer on, and we're just gonna use a simple black material for the back. Cause it doesn't have to be anything special. This is just gonna be the bottom of it. So I almost forgot, just like with the bag tag we made, do wish we changed the bobbin thread colors so it's not white. And I forgot to change the bobbin color. Because we're using a black, we're going to change the bobbin to a black thread. Another bobbin with black thread on it. It's so close though. That sucks.
Lesson learned, make sure you have enough bobbin thread. Okay, so now we got more bobbin thread in there, but I wanna cover up some of the stitches that we just did, so I'm gonna go back 10 stitches, and then I can start again. Let's see, hopefully we get the same results. Okay, so there's our in the hoop coaster and it turned out really nice despite us having to hand wind a bobbin to get this because I didn't want to chance ruining where we were in this project but you can see that the tension is a little bit different in this corner here so that's really the only bit that I can see. Honestly I don't even notice. <laughs> well I'll notice it's there. But otherwise, this turned out really nice. It's a really cool looking coaster. Definitely. So now we can take it out of the hoop and cut off this excess stabilizer. stabilizer. to sew at all, which is nice. So let's go over some lessons we've learned. Always make sure your bobbin has enough thread in it, especially when you have a different color. We normally use white pre-wound bobbins, but we weren't gonna use that on this project. And our one bobbin with black thread on it ran out, right at the very end. The other lesson we learned is we probably should have used some water soluble stabilizer so that we could just easily dab some water along the edge to clean up the edges. For our case, we just used some black Sharpie. Yeah. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get my every single time I post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.